Okay, now it's time to bring it home. Ready to drink the Kool-Aid? Actually, this is a generic multi-purpose cleaner and it is environmentally friendly. This happens to be a Costco version of essentially Simple Green. For the next step, you can use uh, whatever mild detergent you'd like. We want to try to keep it pretty basic though. I really prefer Simple Green or like you see here, a generic equivalent. Um, you can do it with household dish soap, that works too. Um, not the kind you put in the dishwasher, but liquid uh, dish soap that you do dishes in the sink. Usually I would say use about a quarter sized um, blob of it, put it in there. Or for our case here, we're going to use a little bit of Simple Green. Stop up the tub. Dump her in. And next you want to fill it with some warm water. The, the key here is we want it to be pretty warm not scalding hot. If it's super hot, it will actually pull the lacquer off your instrument. Um, honestly, I've never really seen this happen, but that's what's going to happen if you make it too hot. But at that point, you stick your hands in it, it's going to hurt anyway. Here's a good rule of thumb. Should be enough that you can put your hands in there and feel it be fairly warm um, and comfortable, like you were taking a really hot bath. But if it hurts to keep your hands in there, you got to take them out. Or if you can say, wow, this is getting really warm, back it off a little bit, add some cool water because you don't want to damage the finish of your instrument. The level of water you're looking for is enough that it's going to submerge the particular part that you're going to be cleaning, but you don't want it to be up to the very edge of the tub. So make sure it's just enough to submerge whatever it is you're cleaning. When I go to clean my trumpet in a minute here, I'm going to fill it up a little more. For this, maybe just a hair more for the trombone. 